during the corona periods you have seen pathology and microbiology are just booming branches they are the most sorted out branches so that's also a factor that the times can change at any time hi guys and today we have a very special guest dr satyaki jadhav a resident doctor at svp hospital and presently pursuing ms in general surgery from nhl municipal medical college gujarat thank you for joining uh, namaste everyone and thank you so much shivam you are one of the dynamic personalities i have come across and it's really the enthusiasm and the passion uh, which is which glitters on your face so thank you so much for having me okay thank you and today we will talk about the choice of domains for pg and let's begin firstly like what are the factors one should keep in mind while selecting a domain for post graduation i would just say this is one of the really important questions because whether it's a pg or maybe any branch of life you always have choices so the first and foremost thing which i would be putting it forward is your clarity of mind now people often confuse like what is clarity of mind i would just like to share a simple incident a small incident like in mahabharat like you would be all would be knowing when arjuna and duryodhan went to lord krishna they both had choices like what to select duryodhan went with the entire army of lord krishna and arjun he just chose to be with lord krishna even though lord krishna had promised he won't be participating in the battle so the first and foremost thing is like you have to be very clear the clarity of mind has to be there like what branch you want not getting influenced by what people are saying because people would be influenced by many other factors like one is the economic factor would be there other would be fame would be there so the roads might not match so that's the thing clarity of mind is the first thing secondly i would like to suggest is like if you are not having clarity of mind then you go for networking network is is very important whether it's a medical field or maybe you are into some venture you are an entrepreneur so this becomes very important now what's the point after networking like not so many people would be telling you about this is like like suppose if you are confused like which of the branch you want to go through uh, which of the branch you want to select so what you the best people would be who are already in the market right so go to them go to the private hospitals meet those doctors and people always hesitate even my juniors do hesitate like suppose we approach someone they might say no so remember one rule out of 10 people nine would reject you one would select you and that one person you require so second most important factor is networking and you would be knowing how exactly the market works around which fields are best for you how the people are practicing in private practices because private setups are different than the government setups so that's the second thing third thing i would like to put in is the economic of students what happens generally is people start following the trends they want to go for radiology they want to go for dermat which are the higher branches they want to go for surgery medicine but what happens is like suppose if you are taking a drop you don't get at the end of one year two years then again you are stuck up you are stuck up at one place but you just see your economy first maybe if the economic conditions are not allowing maybe you are not able to take another drop so in that case what you do is you just select the branch which is available to you if if the economy is not allowing otherwise definitely you can wait and watch for your branch and you can wait for one two years also but so economic would be play, playing and really important role and you can go for different branches also because if i just tell you about the real life scenario uh, there are two branches if i put in like pathology is there microbiology is there which people don't prefer but now when during the corona periods you have seen pathology and microbiology are just booming branches they are the most sorted out branches so that's also a factor that the times can change at any time and that's how you should take into consider your economic factor then other thing which i would like to put in like as i said that clarity of mind comes first then comes like networking factor that comes your economy then also interest is one of the important parts now interest how you develop an interest that's the thing like there are five and a half years during your mbbs there are four and four and a half years one year of internship is there so that is the period where you are expected to visit your clinics regularly you are expected to go through all the branches you are expected to study thoroughly you are expected that you no know, the theory and the practical portions they go in amalgamation so that's how you would be able to make out that which branch would be best for you otherwise after five and a half years suddenly you want to take a decision like okay this branch is bright because there is so much of money you would be earning 
or this branch is bright because some of the seniors have been seniors or some people like maybe a from your family are suggesting that would be going against the flow only so you would be ending up messing yourself so these are some of the factors which i think you should be putting forward and thoroughly introspecting also and you would be going for a good branch okay should a factor of a degree being terminal or not a terminal degree a factor to count on while choosing your pg yeah that's that's really one of the important factors shivam because the thing is when you start off right you are in your early 20s like 22 23 year old so then what the you no know, the hormone levels are high you want to like work 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 and still then that consideration you never put it into so you are like you want to be a cardiac surgeon you want to be a neurosurgeon even i wanted the same thing like okay i want to go for neurosurgery i want to go for cardiac surgery so that i am talking about when i was in mbbs but what happens is like as the years pass by you also find out like okay you would be missing some personal life professional life balance you would be missing so that's the thing you should be considering so if you want to balance some other things also so definitely go for terminal branches terminal branches like radiology dermatology you can also take up obstetrics so after 3 years you are there you can enjoy your personal life also your professional life also apart from that even in cardiac surgery i am not saying that in cardiac surgery in neurosurgery you won't be enjoying your life but the thing is that's a long curve again 3 years of surgery then maybe you don't get in the first attempt then again 3 years so no it sums up to around 7 to 8 years and if you are more unlucky then maybe 10 years so as the age goes by then sometimes you feel about ke okay now maybe i would have chosen something different so that's the reason it's very important like at the starting only as you suggested shivam that you go decide whether you want to go for a terminal branch or you want to carry on the studies further and maybe that's not a problem so that's what a clarity of mind a clear crystal clear mind plays an important pivotal role because that's where you won't be getting influenced by people like suppose even if like some other people have started their clinics or maybe they have started earning so still you are comfortable like that was your choice which you wanted to go for and now you are going for that so that also plays an important role okay and one more factor which is hitting me that is that should students should pg aspirants look forward uh, market demand as a factor because different specialized people have different market demands like they are there is a different demand in the market for uh, like be it in the corporate sector be it in any job sector but there's a different demand for different specialization so so should this be a consideration a point of consideration for pg aspirants uh, yeah 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 sure that's the main point actually because that's the reason i had put the networking factor really at the first place only because that's the thing medicos missed out what happens is like as you enter into the medical field right those factors are not paid much importance to like what is networking they always think that is like uh, the businessmen have to do networking or maybe the, the entrepreneurs need networking but they may miss out this major part now that's what i was talking about networking that like what is networking is like the whole if you just want to understand the whole market scenario like suppose if i am i am from an actual medical college if i am sitting at one place right i would never be knowing how the market is going around you are seeing so many innovations you are seeing so many minimal excessive surgeries and many other things which are coming up in the market so if you don't step out then again you won't be knowing how the market is turning around which are the fields because see monetary also plays an pivotal part also because at the end of the day you also want to you know get the some uh, focus would be of course your passion would be coming first your interest would be coming first but also with that you also would be requiring a monetary security so you also would be going for which of the fields are coming which are the fields like suppose if i say that ortho surgery is there orthopedics is there or maybe if you take in surgery then the urology onco surgery they are in much demand because of the thing the number of patients the number of cases they are more you would be having more load in your hospital but that again depends on how you want to go about because there are certain people who also say they don't want to settle for a private practice they only want to work in some institution so that also you have to consider that whether you want to go for a private practice if you want to go for a private practice which areas would you would uh, you are aiming for because see as the fields are uh, getting high like as you said ke uro surgery is getting high, uh, at a higher rank uh, onco surgery you get at a higher rank but again there will be saturation also so the market dynamics changes very often as i told about the corona pandemic recently so it's like you have to be in contact you have to be connecting with different people like as we are connecting for now 
so maybe people sitting somewhere in the uh, south or somewhere in north they would be knowing okay how the situation is there in gujarat how are the colleges is, are there in gujarat so that's also i would appreciate you at this stage also because you are trying to connect all these people so that's also the thing so that's how market value market demand plays an important role and you are so are clear in your mind that whether you are taking a good decision or not because as you said the our whole thing started which field has to be chosen so the basic reason why this problem arises of choosing a branch is also that because suddenly after your mbbs suddenly you are giving a pg exam and again you are at in a room setting and you are you want to decide so that's not how you would be deciding if you want to play cricket you just have to go on the field if you just want to be an olympic champion you have to go on the field so that's also the same way because that's what i said that people do hesitate i used to go to different clinics i used to go to different private clinics also so that was not that i was having reference definitely some reference you would be having but still you can request them because they are also willing they are also willing they also would be willing to welcome you they also would be willing that there would be some work for you also so you can just go you can go for one two hours and you can see how the dynamics work how the particular field is doing in a particular basis you go to a surgery clinic you go to a radiology clinic so definitely you would be only knowing okay what is the difference how the patients are there what's the patient load after you just get into the private practice so that would be clearing it up yeah okay so that's it for now guys uh, thank you for this uh, conversation dr satyaki it was a really nice one i guess the audience must be benefiting from this conversation so i'll keep this video till here and hope the guys got an idea about the choice of domains for pg thank you thank you dr satyaki uh, thank you so much everyone